Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we're looking at some more events that have just popped up on the test server. Now, this has all come at once. We got the new game mode. We've got Mikola that's dropped on global. It's all happening. I've got some more Mikola stuff to go through, which I am super excited about. That'll be in the next video. But for this one, I wanted to show you guys some of the events we got coming up. This is on the test server. So with the test server, uh, stuff can come out anywhere from like two days to a week. They haven't really got a set thing yet on exactly how every like a set timeline for everything uh the mccola banner came out two days after um but some of the events have been longer and stuff like that so we gotta wait and see i'm not sure exactly when these will come to global but they are repeat events for us but they are great rewards so we have the astral fair which is back this one absolutely fantastic event because we get a good chunk of rewards we get a 10 pull out of this uh we get a 10 pull out of this and then we also get five stargazers through the other stuff the other thing that we have on at the moment is the crystal one which i haven't gotten on top of yet but this is going to give us another five stargazers so through these events we essentially get ourselves 10 stargazers 20 normal summons and a bunch of the other stuff just from those two events but then on top of that we've got the um you know obviously the new mode going as well which is the ravaged realm there is a bunch of stuff coming and like i said it's looking pretty solid i i feel like i made a bunch of videos talking about events on the test server as they come and i I feel like this rhythm of events is feeling really good. I feel like there is decent enough rewards. Like no one event feels like it's game breaking rewards, but the fact that we're getting so many of these events and something else for global, this, uh, th this, uh, attend the joyous feast that's currently going on. There's two versions of the joyous feast. There's the one with the current event and the one with the other event. And these this has been going on daily for about four or five days on the test server now. And every day you can get yourself 400 diamonds. Now to do this, you're probably going to have to coordinate with some spenders on your server because the only like all coordinate with everyone who's free to play on um, spending their, uh, their test flights because like it, it's a bit of an awkward thing you need people doing the test flights to get those diamonds but if there's people doing them you can get 400 diamonds per day doing this like i said i haven't been able to do it because I, I haven't had any coordination on my server but if you're in a guild and stuff like that you guys can probably coordinate a time i think i i highly recommend the best time to get on to try and do this is uh on the first window after the reset every day because that's when the most people will be active in it keep in mind this thing runs from the 40th minute to the 55th minute of the hour uh so after reset wait for that come here and that's sort of been the couple days where i've got myself some extra diamonds that has been the best time to do it because once again this resets daily uh and when we look at this the um the the feast as part of uh, this event, you can see it's available in one day and 10 hours. So over here, it's only available on the weekend to do with the Astral Fair. However, because we have the Timeless Gala going on, we also have it as part of the Timeless Gala. And for that one, it's just on every day uh, towards the end of this for the last seven days. So you get seven days of the capability of getting 400 diamonds per day, which ain't too bad. Uh, and then obviously we will have the Astral Fair, the Joyous Feast over here as well, where we can uh, spend some more of those things, but not too bad at all. I do think it is a quite reasonable uh, way they are doing these events. Like I said, we've got the Astral Fair, we've got the Crystal Clash, which once again, Crystal Clash, uh, uh, you can do it the bare minimum where you just set your defense, come back and you'll get the bare minimum rewards. I know this really did trigger some some people this event uh last time uh because of the intensity of it but i find that if you just uh, like i just played it pretty casually and even if you just defend every day uh you should be pretty good to get most of the decent rewards that you're looking for uh being the stargazers and also the temporal essence which are the main ones that we are really looking for without worrying too much about the teddy bears and stuff like that so that is what we are looking at from that one once again this one goes for nine days we've got the astral fair which goes for 10 days and if we just look at the actual events that we've got going on on the test server at the moment so we've got astral fair 20 summons and five stargazers we got another five stargazers and other resources this one's given us 25 summons and a ton of other things like two stargazers three no like five i don't even know like eight ten i don't know a ton of stargazers like this event really really solid labyrinth pretty average event you know giving you some yeah okay-ish rewards uh then we've got the expert jeweler which came back over here 
which has given us another 15 summons, which is really solid. Obviously, this one, the, the, there has just been so many. Now, obviously, Forward Journey, not, that hasn't come back to global because this is because I got a new account. But if we look at all these events, including the fishing events, I do hope there is a big event that replaces some of these ones because we got the Swallows, the Swallow one, uh, and we got the uh, Fishing Diary. I do hope they get replaced by something else in the future uh, because these are like those longer term events. I, I'd love to see like them recycle the Fishing Diaries because if the fishing gives rewards i will go in and i will fish i actually strangely don't mind fishing when it's for rewards and you can see on this count i rushed up to the, to the 20 summons and then once we got that it's like yeah frame don't really care i'm not really fishing i've just been doing my daily login one and i have not been doing any fishing i should probably do it to go again and get the frame but it is what it is now the other thing i want to say is i do hope that we do get more events that give us the rate up summon tickets because I, I I just weigh rate up summon tickets and like stargazers rate up summon tickets and obviously diamonds because you can buy rate up summon tickets are like the heaviest value for me in this game currently uh, and those are the things that I'm really after. Having said that, I do think the stargazer income has picked up quite a lot, which is quite reasonable. Um, so I'm keen to see where they go from there. But like I said, test server looking pretty solid. We got a new game mode as well. Once again, this Ravaged Realm is really cool. I do like the way they do this. And this is the kind of thing... Whoop, what's going on here? We've got, uh, we got some text bugs going on. I got, <laughs> I got no idea what that is. <laughs> but I do like the Ravaged Realm. And I find stuff like this. So, like, the Ravaged Realm is a really good boss because it's something you can do every day. Whereas the Guild Supremacy, I, I feel like this has been a flop for me. Even on the test server where I've been running up a fresh account, like, I still feel like I never see this thing. It has no impact. I just... The Guild Supremacy boss, it just feels like a nothingness to me. But the Ravaged Realm, like, because... And, and I think it's heavily because of the rewarding fact. Let me know if you guys think. But, like, this is just a cool thing that I want to dive into every day and gives me some enjoyment in the game. However, if you don't really want to go too deep into it, you can just come in, do a couple fights, slap it in. It's got a skip button as well, which makes it super, super easy. Do your best. And by the at the end of the day, some people laughed at me in the comments because I said that uh, most people would fall into the 10% uh, bracket and then I'm sitting here in the 16.3. My bad. My bad, guys. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll climb up there at one day. I'll climb up there one day. So what rewards am I looking at? Keeping in mind, I haven't leveled since then. So I am looking at the... Uh, wait, where's my... Uh, wait, wait, where's this one? Daily ranking. No, final ranking. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not in there. But, uh, I mean, five still. Still five. Like, five at worst... I still think I still think it's reasonable for those that don't even want to put in anything and then you just like try and do the odd fight and you still get five at the end of it plus the exchange ones I don't know it's looking pretty solid but sorry for the ramble like I said the big one is if you want to on global uh, this one it runs every day you can get 400 diamonds a day uh, if you can coordinate with your guild or if you just get lucky jump on there the first time after reset that's normally when people are flying uh, some of their planes uh, to go ahead and get their stargazers because you can buy some with the dragon crystals for the spenders that's the big thing uh, and then once again we got the two events returning which is the astral fair and the crystal clash giving us another 10 stargazers 20 summons uh, along with a bunch of other resources which I think is a very good uh, state of the game and I'm hoping this event flow continues if it doesn't then I hope CN complains about it because I think that's where we get, we've been getting most of the stuff from. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.